Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. I'm super excited you're here today. Excuse me one second. I gotta move the camera just a little. There we go. Okay, so I'm very excited you're here today. I have a fun project. At least I hope we find it fun. It's something I have not done before. I was gonna start working on them and I thought, let's turn on the camera and see if they wanna craft along with you. Or at least watch you, you know, hang out in the studio. So I hope you're all well. How is everyone? How are you? Are you good? I hope everybody's doing well. We're getting better. I mean, my hubby is, I think. Uh, the nerve pain's still crazy for him. But, you know, at least his back is healing. And all the blisters are gone. And all the scabs. And he still has a rash. And it's still painful. But, you know, he's 100% better than he was. But he's not 100%. He's still... Doctor says he has a long way to go. So we're already three weeks in. Yuck. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for all your prayers, your comments, your support, your kindness. He says, thank you. Thank you. He knows it helps a lot. We feel like it would have could have just been so much worse without you guys. So thanks. Thank you. Thank you. So anyway, today we are going to work on a new project. So I grabbed as much stuff as I thought I would be using, but you know, you don't know. Now, you know, I have this lovely tray I set up for extra overflow, and it's full. I've just filled up another surface, so now I don't have my tray. So, I'm just going to have to, like, try to move stuff around and see what I can do, right? Because I need all of this for this project. So, I'm going to uh, move things around. Hopefully, um, I don't know where to put everything, guys. I've got so much, so much to do for this project. I... Mm, Maybe I could put some on the floor or hmm, maybe behind me. I don't know. I missed my TV tray. It's my fault. I filled it up and I didn't unfill it. So real quick, I wanted to show you a couple things I made in some purples. I know there's some of you gals out there that love purple. So this was, remember those little folders we were making in our last video? Um, I can't open it all the way because it's got a gift card in it, right? And um, we have this one and you just unhook it and you open it up and, and there's a pocket here and a pocket here and a pocket here. We have all this beautiful ephemera in here that you can pull out. There's just ephemera everywhere. And then we have this one and there's little bits of ephemera up there. And then we have some ephemera there. Flip it over. You have that one. And then I have, look at this one. It is loaded with ephemera. Isn't this fun, right? Oh, I love it. Oh, and here's a card I made. It's pretty. I used a lot of vintage stuff in here, um, vintage laces and things for purple because that's what I had in my stash from way when I used to make, my daughter's favorite color was purple and I made her a number of purple dresses. So I had some stuff left over. So aren't these pretty? And these all come out. These are all journal cards all tags, all fun, like, stuff. So none of this is for sale. This is a gift. So, um, for someone. And, you know, when you take it out, let me just show you one side. Ugh. See, isn't that cool? I love making these. I haven't made one in a long time. It's just made from brown paper, brown packing paper. So super fun. Oh, look at that one. They're all ready to journal in. You got all kinds of pockets and good goodness in here. And the kit that I used is from a Jewel Design. So if you like purples, she has this beautiful kit. It has irises and all kinds of gorgeous bits and pieces. There might be bits from other kits, but you know, I just really wanted to show this to you before I got going because I wouldn't have another chance. I need to package it up. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside, and then I got my order from my beautiful, beautiful friend, Claudia, at Timeless Crochet for you. Look at this fabulous order of flowers. Oh my gosh, you guys. She is the best at this. I adore her flowers. These are the ones that are made from vintage, um, ugh, let me... ugh, there we go. From vintage bits of applique. Look at that. Can you see? So I'm going to put all the pink ones in my little pink drawer. And then I found some of these little boxes with little handles. Aren't they cute? Um, to put the other colors in, you know, because I don't have drawers for all the other colors. So I could separate them out. I bought two orders of them. If you wanted the 
applique um, flower bits. I'm not sure what she called them, but you can ask her. If she doesn't have any, you can message her and ask her to make you some. That is a special thank you. She gave me those. And it's a very special thank you for being a long time, always with her since almost day one. Some beautiful, look at these. Oh, I love them. Claudia, you did such a good job. Thank you, sweetie. My favorites. So <clears throat> I actually may use a few of those things in today's video. We will see. Actually, I noticed they're creating a massive shadow. So I'm going to move them out of the way. Put them on my counter behind me. Alrighty, so that was show and tell. <laughs> I like to share with you oh, when I get something from Etsy that's worth sharing, you know. Sometimes I get stuff and I think, ugh, not what I wanted, not happy. Alrighty, so today we're going to make, I don't know what to call these. Um, they could be a cluster, they're fabric, fabric and, and photo clusters. Or they could be flips or they can be journal toppers. So I spent quite a bit of time yesterday cutting fabrics to use today. All these yummy, look at these gorgeous high-end fabrics. <laughs> um, you can use anything you want, scraps of anything. Could be anything. And then I have lots of ephemera to decorate with that I pulled from my stash. So I've got all this goodness here we can decorate with. I've also got some uh, Victorian, I mean vintage, excuse me, antique uh, paper, books and book pages and uh, music paper. And then if you remember, I made something similar to this using these little goodies as the substrate. So these are coin envelopes and I have three sizes of coin envelopes today that we may use. Or as our base, we can also use, I got some packaging paper from Amazon. Now, when I saw these the first time, I think um, I saw them with Tina at Shabby Debbie Doodah. She was, she was using an envelope that she cut up. So it gave me the idea as well. I didn't have any envelopes with lines on them, but I had these lovely coin envelopes. So I used that and completed my, made my own thing, right? Totally different from hers. And then the la next time I saw her make them, she was using some cotton fabrics with um, packing paper. So I've got, I'm going to do my own thing, but it's a combination of everything. Does that make sense? Now, I think one of the things that might, for me, um, propel this will be images. Now, I have a beautiful, stunning kit from uh, Medieval Mirage. Medieval Mirage, Medieval. And this is Marie Antoinette. Isn't this a stunning? Look at these photos and pictures. So what I'm thinking is this is going to be the thing that is going to motivate me for my fabric choices. So I have to decide. I have some beautiful, this is one of my favorite fabrics from my bedroom long ago. And I was thinking something like this on that would be beautiful. I have the bigger version if I want to do one, like a bigger one for say, um, like a topper. So I did not cut these out. I did not have time. I worked hard all day yesterday and ran out of time. I've had a couple of rough days between us, you know, so my hubby and I, so, you know, I didn't get as much done as I wanted, but this project has been burning a hole in my pocket, as my mom would say, <laughs> burning a hole in my pocket because I've been wanting to do it for a while, uh, ever since I first saw it long ago, throw that away, I don't need that, I'm not saving those strips, I got a million of them. But I'm thinking this smaller one would be good because we need a we need to start with some kind of an image, right? So I'm gonna get me an image. And then the one thing I do like is there are a lot of she has a lot of sayings down the side here. Uh, this is a huge, huge kit that she has. I want to say over a hundred pages between the pages and the ephemera. Giant. And I don't remember if I bought them separately or together, right? So, ooh, 
I like this one. I'm gonna cut out some things that I think we will use. So what are you guys up to? I know many of you have been at graduations or you have grown children graduating for master's degrees or graduating from college. I know Amy and her beautiful daughter just graduated with her degree. And I know Gail's uh, daughter just got her master's as she's graduating this weekend. So there's a lot going on for that time of year. I know, right? And then there's all these lovely uh, sayings on here too. So I may be using some of those. Oops, I just dumped everything on the floor. I thought I would just cut a couple things that we could kind of play with and then we could zip through them. I wished I had time to, I prepped and prepped just to get this far, I have to tell you. So, oh, that's not a bad one, but we'll see. I just quickly run through these. I mean, I love, there's hundreds of pages and I loved every single bit of what I saw. So it was hard for me to just even pick out a few pages, let alone, you know, fussy cut in a couple, right? I know it's not your favorite thing to watch a fussy cut, but I'm, I'm, I, I know I'm going to be doing some kind of project with this kit for sure. So I'm starting to make a camera, right? Plus probably I will sell bundles of pit pieces. Now all my stuff is in the shop. It already, some of it already sold very, very, very quickly. Sorry guys, but Literally, it was gone immediately. But I think there's still a couple of pieces left in there that they haven't have they haven't sold yet. That Jolene just put. She didn't put them all in at once. She kind of uh, the ones I showed you guys the other day. She kind of put a few in at a time, and so she just dropped a whole bunch in this morning. So this should be Friday. So you might have an opportunity to grab a couple of them. So I think there's two or three things left that haven't sold yet. Now, there's words like French Renaissance and Rhapsody and Marie Antoinette and Ladies in Waiting. I'm going to use those words. Those may be the thing that describes this, but they can certainly be used. Um, okay, so you guys are going to get sick of me doing this, but you guys, I'm addicted to all these beautiful pictures. Look at them. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. I'm in heaven. Hopefully YouTube doesn't get me because that's a really, really old song. <laughs> Which probably isn't copyright. Well, it probably is. It just depends if there's any family members left that would say, Hey, can't use that song. It is a real old. I can see the gal singing it too. I don't know if it was a Bing Crosby movie that they sang. Oh, you guys, this is gorgeous. I'm doing some of the backgrounds. I thought those would be cute too, because we need some backgrounds, not just pictures, right? So let's get some of those. And, oh, how's your weather? Oh, I'm hearing about horrible, horrible. I'm so glad you're safe, Leslie. Um, at 507 Little House Journal, she was in an area where there were tornadoes but she says she's safe so yay miss leslie's safe oh my gosh my sister lives in wichita kansas and i think hutchinson for my nephew my godson so they are all in some dangerous dangerous areas you guys so they are getting hit with tornadoes right and left in the midwest and of course i have family there so it's like oh gosh i'm i, I just cringe every time i hear anything is going on there Um, and here's a strip of some that might work. So, okay, I promise I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. I have these little tiny ones. I got to get some of these. I got to get some of the little ones. Okay. And then these are a bit bigger. So I'll just put those there. If we need them, we'll use them. I'll see if there's anything else I just absolutely have to have right this minute. Oh my gosh, you guys are so beautiful. How do I pick? Oh, castles. Oh, oh no. Oh no, you guys. <laughs> I'm in art heaven. Oh, and she, um, let me think of her name, Jarf. I think it's her name. 
does such a beautiful, beautiful job. I have her Jane Austen kit too. And oh, ho, ho, ho. man, oh man, oh man, is that gorgeous. And I want to use that at someday too. So I've been kind of putting this off. The, this project, because I have a couple of kits I have to finish. So, all right. I have things to play with now. I think we're good, right? Sorry about that. I wished I had time to pre-cut. I really do. Oh, and then I have all of these gorgeous ladies to use if I want for journal toppers. I'm planning to make a bunch. I mean, I'm not just planning on doing this little bit that you see on here. I want to make a bunch of journal toppers to sell in the shop. So, you know, that's coming um, I like this one. I want to put, I wish this was not. Now there's two sides to this fabric. You could use either side. Now there was the smaller version of that. Oh yes. Okay. So we have that. Now I cut these at, just so you know, six by four and a half, because I figured that would fit on the front of any journal. Now, if I want to make this as a smaller piece, I most definitely can. Now at this point, I want to add some paper or a, I think I just do it does. Where'd my little, I, I need some paper behind it. So now whether I put like this behind it and then put that on there and we're gonna add some paper, I can go this way and cut it down, you know what I'm saying? So. I think I might go this way. I also have, let's see what size, how much paper I want. And you can use it as a pocket if you want, but probably we won't. We're, we're actually using these as the base. So I'll cover up that word right there and we'll go like that. Now, I want to, first thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna round this. I don't know if I'll leave it that way. And then I'm gonna, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I have to watch these scissors. They are still sharp, even though they've been around since 2000. And when you rough up the edges like that, it grabs your ink really well and then ages it. That's okay that's ripped a little because it just makes it look like an old photograph of Marie Antoinette. <clears throat> my younger sister's name is Antoinette. Antoinette Mary. Isn't that interesting? I guess my mom had a fixation with French names because I'm Lorette Ann. Lorette Ann. And my oldest granddaughter has my middle name, which is so sweet. And then her sister has Marie. And my daughter's middle name is Marie. So, yeah, we kind of have a fixated with thing with all of that, right? So we're going to put that together. We're going to go this way. And then I want to add a piece of music paper. I'm going to use a newer one instead of the one that's kind of fallen apart already. We have to decide, okay, I'm gonna, normally I would rip this, but this paper will crumble on me, so uh, I don't want to do that because then I would have to throw it away. Um, mm -hmm. Let's do this, because I don't want it so perfect, right? Where am I going with that? I don't know. All right, so we have a bunch of different colors. And now I want to add some laces. Lace, lace, lace. I had that box on my desk. And, whoa, what do I have here? I've got some blue stuff. Oh, okay. Can add that. Ooh, I have this one. This is pretty. Let's see. That's the longer one. We've got a good mix of things going here. So I'm going to move that over. Might not be wide enough, uh, long enough, so I may end up. Now, I want kind of a rough edge on that, so this will not rip, but you can cut it with your pinky shears, and that will give you a little more um, jaggedness to the edge, right?
and they don't have to be even, right? They could just kind of be all over. And the thing that you want to do with this is you want to, the cool part about it is, I'll move that over just a little. It's a little over-organized, isn't it? Darn it. I would want a rough edge on here, but I'm kind of scared to do it because it's just falling apart when you try to rip it. Oh. Okay, well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it. I'll end up with nothing if I do that, right? Okay, now the point of this is to use your tiny attacher or, and you wanna do it where you could catch everything, right? So we're gonna do that. And then I am going to, well, if I want it to be all like, Now, one thing I might want to do is, okay, I had a little sparkle left out of that. I had, what else do I have that would look good with that? Maybe this. This is just scraps that are sitting on my desk. Now, I know a lot of you have been buying our laces. Thank you. Thank you so much for visiting our shop and supporting us. You, know, you ladies are fabulous. I want to thank you to all of our regular customers and our VIP customers. The VIP customers are the ones who come back pretty much every day and shop with us. Thank you. Thank you. We totally, totally, totally appreciate you in every way, shape, and form. Now, I want to add a bow up here. I think that one will work. I got quite a few bows. Did I just order some in the mail? I just ordered a bunch of bows and stuff. And these will glue on. I mean, we could, we could staple again. Let me, there we go. Yes, that's fun. I'm going to staple those again. Where'd my tiny attacher go? This Tim Holtz tiny attacher is amazing. And then I'm just going to glue a bow right over it. And we're going to get out our Fabri-Tac. Any kind of fabric glue, please. All right, and you want a fabric glue, anything that will work on fabric, you know. I believe some of the tacky glues work, uh, things like that. So, you know, sure, go ahead and do that. Oh, look at that. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? I wanted it to be elegant. I hope I was in camera, you guys. I apologize. I'm going to double check when I start working. Isn't she pretty? Look at the fabric. Stunning, huh? That's the back and that's the front. It's sort of a taupe and blue. Gorgeous. That's actually a French blue. And it's a color that Marie Antoinette had in her bedroom and her suite. Everything she had was blue and she wore a lot of blue. But she wore other colors as well. Now, I also have paper bows from Shabby Dabby Doodah. So we can use some of these on some of them as well. We don't have to just use these images, of course. I did bring other ladies, but... Um, I'll see, here's another one. Oh, how about like that? Yeah, that's pretty. Let's try something else that's too big. Let's just rip a piece of paper. Um, 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 what did I do with it? There we go. Now, I thought I was going to do really big. Let me see what I have here. I hate to cut that up. Oh, I guess I'm going to have to. Okay, I have more. I have tons of it. Oh, you have two sides, by the way, of this fabric. It just depends which side you like. I think I'd like this to be a little wider, and then I can just cut it off. I think we'll, we'll do that, because I think that's four and a half. Well, no, this would make it too short. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Sorry. Let's get some, a ruler. I was very aggressive with that, wasn't I? <laughs> I hope that didn't just break your ears. 
No, that's not what I wanted it to do. This will rip really odd, by the way. I did notice that about these papers. They have kind of a... Is this the piece that I wanted? Yeah, maybe I'll use it. I can always cut it smaller. That's too small, so obviously that's not it. And that one I, I botched. I botched it, you guys. So we're going to do that, and we're going to do little rips and tears to make it look a little older. And rip off the corners because we don't want it so sharp. You didn't think I was going to leave that like that, did you? No. And then, beautiful spring day here. Well, not spring. feels more like summer. It's 82 yesterday, so or 85. I don't know. It was warm. This is vintage photo, right? Yeah. I've been using some other colors, so I want to make sure, oopsie, I grab the right color. Oh, we aged that up. Thoroughly. Ah, come back here. Now this one, I am going to clip the corners. Now, of course, you can use any fabric, you know, that you have, and any, it doesn't have to be fabric, it can be an old dress, it could be a towel, it could be sheets, it could be whatever you got, right? So, you know, use what you have. I have the Tim Holtz tool, and I, I, I never like to be negative about Tim Holtz. I love Tim Holtz, but I'm, I'm not impressed with that thing at all. I don't feel like it does a good job at all. Um, I find it awkward and it just doesn't do a thing. So I spent money on that. And if I'm reviewing it, I would say don't spend money on it. I mean, some people really love it. I'm not one of them. I don't hate it, but I'm not impressed with it. Okay. I love Tim Holtz. I like everything he does except for that. You know, I have his scissors. I have everything, right? But, oh my goodness. Ooh. Yes, this does. Normally, I zigzag the edges of this. So, if I really don't want it to run, I may go ahead. And these are my good pinking shears. These are my fabric ones. I'm going to just go right across the top. I'm not going to be fussy about, oh, I don't know where I'm going to cut it yet. So, wait, I might not do that yet. Let me, let me do that. Let's do this. Let's do this. Now we need some more lace. So do we want, um, do we want like something very, no, not that. Shoot. Do I want blue again? No, let's do something different. Um, where'd my box go? I just had, there it is. There we are. Oh, there we go. There's a pretty piece. No, wrong color. Yuck. You get it on there and you're like, no, that's not it. I want something really gorgeous, though. I mean, I don't want just a plain old piece of lace. Oh, that's pretty. It's got some sheen to it. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah, that's pretty. And I'm purposely kind of chomping it so it doesn't look so perfect on the end. I don't want it to be... Oh, I don't know if you can see the sheen in that. Can you see the sheen? Oh, it has sheen. You can't see it. Oh, that's too bad. It's really gorgeous. It's got some gorgeous sparkle to it, but it's not picking it up. Oh, I just knocked a bunch of pictures on the floor. Hey, I know it's not my sleeves. This is a much tighter sweater. <laughs> I went to something tighter. Yay, the weather's finally warm enough to do that. Okay. And then let's add, um, what do we want to add? Music paper again. I always equate that era with lots of the spinet. You know, that ladies all played the spinet, which is like a piano, but it's a little bit sharper in sound. I was watching Franklin on, was it Netflix? I think it's Netflix. 
story of Benjamin Franklin and the part he played in the war and um, War for Independence. Quite interesting. It's kind of slow at times, so, um, but I've enjoyed like just some of the visual arts of it. It's beautiful. Let's put that on that side this time. Let's not put it on the same side. Let's not make it so matchy matchy. Actually, I want to put it under the music paper, I think. Yeah, we could do that. You don't really see much of the papers that I had on there. As you can see, it just crumbles off. Paper itself is very dark, but I still want to give the edges some color. pretty. That works. Okay, tiny attacher, here we come. What time do we have? Oh, we have plenty of time. I'm going to do some bigger ones, too. Let's see, this time, should we decorate? Which side should we decorate? Well, we have to get everything, so did I catch it all? I did. Now, one thing you can do, which I forgot to do over here, is to add some glue to stabilize it a little bit, so things are not running around. Just add a tiny bit, just to kind of firm everything up. There we go. And we'll do that to this one too when we're all done. I got that a bit low, but that's okay. So now we're gonna cut this one off. And these are really sharp, so I'm surprised they're hesitating. Okay, they need something else though. I should have added another layer of something. I feel like it needs like some net or some something frilly or, uh, what have I got? Oh, okay. That would be pretty on there. You know, I'm missing my bling. We can glue that on. Or I can add another staple. I think I'll add another staple. Where did I put it? How far under did I go? Did it get it? No. Shoot. I've got another staple that I don't want on there. Darn it. Well, we're just going to glue that on because I don't want to be stapling all over the place. No and no, right? There we go. And what I'm thinking is I have some pretty gold trims. Of course, there. One moment, please. They're sitting over with my other journals that I'm working on. Alrighty. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes, please. Oh, my. Mm-hmm. I have to figure out where to put this so we could see her. I've got too many, too many tools on the desk as usual. Okay, I like these hearts up here because we're going to decorate it up. 
you know, Marie Antoinette was all about opulence. She didn't know any better. She was just a young girl and spoiled herself because she thought she could, didn't realize she shouldn't, and that she was bankrupting her country off with her head, right? Okay. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's put this on here. At least I think it is. I like it. Makes my eye happy. Everybody's different, you know. You can do this very simply. You have to think about the papers you use and you think about what do I have and what could I use. You don't have to have any of what I have. Absolutely don't need it. Oops, kind of overglued the top there just a bit. Um, let me fix that. And oof, beautiful. Oh, I love it. Love, love, love it. It's so pretty. And that covered up our our staples. Now this should be glued down to where you don't see the staples, but if you're worried, you could put a piece of excuse me, I need some more. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry. You could put a piece of paper there. I do see a little trimmy trimmy I need to do. There we go. On the back to close it. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it. Now, I may, when it comes time, add pearls or you know it depends what it's going on and then if I decide to sell them oh I definitely I have to have pearls there what am I thinking who am I kidding right I thought maybe I could just not do that yeah no or do I want gems hmm hmm silver or gold oh you know what I got hold on a minute hold on a minute hold please got all this beautiful I don't always have to use pearls I've got all the bling bling in the world here what would look good you know the one thing I don't have is the small gold it only came in the large size um maybe we could my space is shrinking hello um this isn't even open I haven't used it yet um, I love having a shop because we get introduced to all kinds of fun things that we wouldn't normally see. I don't have any of this kind of stuff in the shop though. I just don't really know if that's something that interests anybody other than me. Oh, it's so pretty. Where's the beginning? Let's find it. Oh, it's right there. Hello, my love. Come to mama. Come to mama. Okay, I have to find, you know how hard this is to see? Oh my gosh. I'm trying not to unroll the whole thing. Gosh, right. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. <gasps> oh, yes. Yes, please. Yummy. Yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Oh, I need a tool. One minute. Excuse my arm. Oh, I just knocked a whole pot of flowers on the floor. Right where I don't want to, behind everything. Okay. I'll just sit here and whine for a minute because I know I have a big mess to clean up. Pardon me. Excuse me. Sad for those poor little flowers that just took a dump on the floor. <laughs> Everything's balanced precariously on everything else, but that is the way it has to be with the amount of stuff I use. Oh, it's so pretty. I need more glue, though. I can tell you. Fabri-Tac works great. It does glue the gems on. If you get the right amount on where you need it. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, I'm in love. Can you see the gems? Wait, I'm having trouble seeing that. Come on, focus, camera. Come on, focus. Give it a minute. 
I don't know if it's focusing for you. Oh, there you go. And then this is really sparkly too. The gold. Oh, it's an antique gold. Purdy. Oh, I'm in love with these. I'm going to be sitting here all the whole entire day making stuff. I will have stuff to show you if I can hang in there. Jolene's bringing us lunch. It's Friday. We're having Friday lunch with our daughter. Yay. What more could a mama want? She took oh, she took me out for an early Mother's Day lunch. We had a bunch of errands to run. I had to get some blood work. So she took me out to get my blood work. Then she took me to brunch at our favorite, well, my favorite place to eat for brunch. I oh, got my favorite thing is French toast. So she took me out for French toast. She I don't know what she had for lunch. I don't know. She had a turkey sandwich, I think. But I because they serve breakfast till two o'clock. So we went early. And we had brunch and then we went craft shopping and we went to Dollar Tree and bought a bunch of stuff. And then we went to Target and I got a bunch of stuff. Well, mostly for the house. <laughs> All the stuff is mostly for the house. But we did do a little, you know, of our personal little shopping, you know, for a few things that we needed at Dollar Tree. They don't have as much as they used to. Now with the price hike, I noticed they're carrying, they've cut their craft section in half. At least at our store in our town. They're not going out of business, as far as I know. Neither is Joanne Fabrics. They did a chapter, what's 11, which is a reorg. It's not a going out of business. Some of the stores, they are closing because they just weren't profitable anyway. So they kept the stores that make them money. Those stores are staying open in the bigger cities. Um but they're not closing everything. People said, oh, they're closing all the Joannes. No, they aren't. That is not in their, in their, um, I read the documents and that they had the, the public documents on the, um, on the bankruptcy. Yes, they did close some stores, but they're not closing all of them everywhere. They are not. If your store is a well run, and you aren't doing your job as a manager, yeah, chances are your store is closing. But they are keeping the majority of them open. Part of a reorg means that anything that's not profitable goes bye-bye. But it is it was not the kind of bankruptcy that you shut everything down and you go out of business. It just allows them to get some of their debt forgiven and reorganized and consolidated buys a more longer uh, payment date, stuff like that. So Joanne's is still going to be around. Don't panic, ladies. I first panicked. I'm like, oh my gosh, there's nothing for, there's no other fabric stores, period. There just aren't. Our, um, our Walmart had a fabric department, then they closed it. I don't know if they still have it. I've been in forever, so I don't know, but Otherwise, you got to buy it online, and that's a risky thing to do. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, it's beautiful. I love them. Okay, do we have time? Oh, yeah, we do. Let's do another color. Okay, we've done our blues. I knew I was going to do a bunch of different... Ooh, here's a gold one. This one's pretty. This is out of my stash from when I used to do draperies and pillows and, you know, um, that kind of thing. Well, there's two sides. If you like the brown, you can leave it in, or you can choose this side that's just gold. Hmm, I think I'll do both. Let's see, what have I got here? What photos do I have? You guys, I have, look at all the tools. When I tell you I get a lot of tools on my desk, look at this, this is what I have on my desk right now. <laughs> and you know I'm using them, you're watching me. So it's like, I gotta kinda have them. <laughs> Okay, that's just, oh my gosh, that's so funny. That's so funny. Okay. Now, I want to do the gold, so it's like, what do I have that would look good with that? I think I want something else. I mean, it doesn't have to be Marie Antoinette. We could do another image, right? I've got other images. I have tons of images, as you know. I mean, they would look good with that. Like, this would look good with a gold. But I think I have another something else I want to put that on. The framed ones are pretty. That's a pretty one. I don't think there were any bigger framed ones. 
Let me find one moment. Oh, we have these. If I could go this way. Why don't we? Let's do one of these ladies. Aren't they stunning? These are by Chris Lana Crafts. This is her, I want to say, hmm, is this Noir or one of the other ones? Ooh, I like this image a lot. Or I like them a lot. I love all three of these. These are stunning. What do we think? What do we think? I love this a lot. It's beautiful. Oh, we did that one. I'm going to be creating new pouches for all of these. I buy those pouches by the truckload. Now, this is a tag. But if we cover up the top, you'll never know it, right? Let's go like this, and this, and this. And we'll cut this out. Oh, isn't she beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful. Now you can use whatever image you want. You could use florals. You can use whatever you, whatever's in your stash. But you know for me it's going to be the ladies because I work with them so much. It just doesn't make sense for me to do. I certainly could add a floral to them, and that would be gorgeous as well, right? So I was thinking maybe this one. I have another one that that might look good on. So I figured I would just go ahead and cut those because I have some other fabrics that I thought that would look beautiful with. And I, I was thinking about these as well. So let's put those aside, get those out of my way. Um, let's see. We could definitely do hers a much bigger I definitely want some paper, but we need a bigger piece because I messed up that last one. Let's see, where'd my... There we go. I love the way that paper sounds. That Amazon paper is fabulous. Some of them. Some of them are coming there very funny, but this has a good... Uh, just has a good sound effect. All right. So let's prep this. Do, 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 do. Let's go like that. Go. There we go. We got enough squares going on here, don't we? And then where's my scissors? I love these little scissors. These are creative memories. I was a creative memory consultant for all of five minutes, but I had to buy a kit to be one, right? So I had like enough to do class for, I think six or eight, 10. I don't know, I just have a lot of them. Yeah, that gave it some age, just a little bit. I mean, it didn't do a whole lot, but it did something, right? Oops, I forgot to do these. And I don't know how much of this you'll see, but we'll do it anyway, right? Just so we know it's there. I'm gonna age it up. When you crinkle a piece of paper and then you run your ink over it, oh, it just adds age. I recommend, if you don't get any others, but that you get a distress ink and one of the little they make sets where you can get like the whole, like the little dauber that comes from Tim Holtz. These are custom made uh, by a friend of mine, Clint. And um, they work great for my hand. I actually, I think this is the one I won in a special drawing or a challenge or something. I can't remember. Somehow I won it from Clint. And then I have, you know, several others. No two are exactly alike. Aren't they pretty? So... They are lovely. All right, we've got that. But I want something else behind that this time. I want to do... Um, 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 um. Oh, 
I don't think in this one I have anything big enough. I think I'm going to have to grab... Oh, that's so pretty. Um, oh, maybe. I thought that one looked pretty. Now, let me make sure I'm in. I am. All right. I'm actually where I need to be. And we're not going to use the uh, little envelopes, but we do have these in the shop. These are all in our shop. And this is our shop for those of you who are new and aren't familiar with it. Our Etsy shop. And you can find all kinds of bags and envelopes and it's uh, it's design journal and supply on at designjournalsupply.etsy.com. Okay, and there's always a direct link in my description box. I haven't been writing a lot in there just because life has been busy. But if I wanted, I could add that. But I'm not going to do it on this one. I did do one on the other one. But uh, we do have all uh, all these sizes. And plus there's one smaller one in this same color. And then we do have these at the shop. So we're, we're, we do have all this goodness in the shop. Okay, so if you need it, you know where to go. All right. And the reason we have the shop is so that you can make things with me. I'm trying to figure out what's the top and what's the bottom on this baby. I guess we'll go here. Not that you're going to see much of it because I am. Let's put this on this side. This can be a fabric flip. It could be a topper. I'm going to do it different for a topper. I don't think I'll have time to do it on here, but you could watch for them. Now, one thing I don't want is this hard line right here. I don't mind it's pink because you'll see what I'm going to do with that in about two seconds. And I'm cutting off the corners because I don't want a hard line there. Oh, I'm going to have to vacuum again. I'm a vacuum queen when I'm done with this room, I'll tell you. Okay. I like the pinking sheer, shears edge. I'm not quite that uh, tatty on the sides unless I'm working with a cotton. Now, cotton fabrics, I do like it when they unravel. I think that looks really cool. But when I'm working with this kind of fabric, the brocades and the embossed brocades and that type of thing, satins or silks, I generally like to pink the edges. I just think it adds something to it. And I don't know if I want my paper that wide, but we will see. I'm gonna put my lace on that side this time. I keep putting it on the other side. Let's put it on that side. And again, I do want, oh, you know what? I've been using so much of that music paper. Let's use, excuse the mess I'm making. Let's use something else. I know exactly what I want to use. I've got some Italian. I have some German. I have French. I have all the different papers in here. Oh, look at that one. That's really old. Oof, 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 oof. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, I have a lot of stuff on my desk and I'm not using any of it. Ugh, I will though. Where'd my ruler go? Hello, there we go. And I will absolutely stamp on that for real. I am not going to waste even an in. This is paper from the 1700s from Rachel at Roxy Creations. These are very old. This is rag paper. 
and it is yummy. And yes, I, it's kind of hard to stamp on, honestly, though, because it doesn't like to take the ink very well. But it is old looking when you're done, I guarantee it. Um, yes, the paper's discolored, but I am doing the edges so it stands out because I want it to show. And I'm gonna let some of this the lace over that but then you don't see the beautiful paper and I want the lace so it's definitely going on that side there we go there we go I got it 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 mm, yummy mm, tiny attacher where have you gone my little friend I want to bring this down I want to bring that up I want a little bit of everything to show, right? It's kind of hard to hold it, move it around where you want it, and then get it stapled on. And I kind of have to put it where I think the lace is too. I think that got everybody. And then we can use a little glue and you say, well, why use the staples? Well, you want it to kind of be loose, but kind of depends what you're gonna do with it. So I'm just adding bits of lace. So part of it is free to move around. So you can kind of lift up the pieces to see what's there and look at all the interesting stuff, right? And I'm just using the heat of my hand because the air conditioner has come on. It's um, gonna be in the 80s again today. And I always have a little sweater on because the house is cool with the air conditioner on. Now, I'm not really liking the hard corner, so I'm gonna there we go. That looks better. Alrighty then, let's grab this mess that I've made. Mm, you know what would be gorgeous on this. I don't have time. Oh, I'm running out of time, guys. I think I just hit my limit. Oh, no, no. No, oh, no, no, no. I think we just ran out of time. Oh, shoot, you guys. I'm sure we just went over, but I was having such a good time. I forgot what I was doing. I was thinking maybe add a pretty piece of applique to the top, which I'll probably do, but I think I just ran out of time. Let me, let me check, but I'm pretty sure... We are out of time. Let me move some of this real quick. Okay, so this is what we've been making, guys. Aren't these fun? You'll have to see what I do with the rest of them and how I finish them up. Let me see. Oh, we're at 58, right on target. So, we did this one. I think she needs pearls or something. She needs some more work. This one which I think turned out, wasn't that pretty? Pretty. And then this one, which we're in the process of. So I want to thank you for watching. I'm super enjoying this project. Thank you for hanging out with me while we do it. I hope you have a wonderful week, a weekend, a fabulous Friday. I will see you all next week. I love you all. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.